this was a really nice opportunity to talk about blue carbon in the context of COP. So the main conversation at COP is really about uh, how can we reduce CO2 emissions nationally so that we can uh, stabilize the global carbon system. And as you can see behind me, you have a mangrove and the ocean already does this service for us very naturally through a process called blue carbon by which uh, coastal uh, habitats fix CO2 into their living biomass, which is eventually transferred into the seabed where it's locked away from the global carbon system. So the conversation today was about, are there other types of habitats in the ocean beyond the, the, what we call the traditional blue carbon habitat, so that's the mangroves, your sea grasses and your salt marshes. Are there other uh, habitats in the ocean that produce this natural service and how can we protect them? So we talked about research that is being done in the UK, which is really at the forefront of blue carbon research and is trying to understand the potential for seaweeds to be considered as a blue carbon habitat in the uh, global uh, efforts to minimize the impacts of climate change. So the main challenges at the moment are understanding where are the natural sinks of carbon exported from shore seaweed beds and how much of this carbon ends up in the, in the, se in the sediment really locked away from the climate system. So this is what we've been doing in the UK through the Marine Ecosystems Research Program and this is where the science is really uh, growing at the moment. Thank you for your time.